Welcome along guys. Well I've managed to get my grubby little mitts on the brand new Street Triple RS. This is the new one with the angry eyes. This is a beautiful bike. So this is the first ride of this machine. Destination Triumph in Washington. A very kindly lent me this. So links below. Go check them out. This is courtesy of them. Thank you Destination Triumph. It's much appreciated. Now I'm going to go out and give it a good little razzing. I'm quite excited. Let's go. So a few specs about this bike. I mean, obviously the Street Triple's been around for a while. What's different about this new one? Well, first of all, there's some cosmetic changes. You know, the new LED headlights, which we'll look at in detail on the walk around. Um, it now has a blipper as well as the quick shifter. Still got the Olin's rear shark, show a big piston forks, that all remains the same. It's also got 9% more torque. Riding position is very similar to the Tuono actually. A bit like a mini Tuono, but it's perhaps not quite as aggressive as the Tuono. You're not sat forward quite as much as you are on the Tuono. It's a little bit more comfortable, I dare say. The whole bike, it feels sporty, comfortable but sporty. As I say, you're slightly forward in the position, so you're not going to have too much weight on your backside. The peg position now, I've been riding a little bit longer, it does feel similar to the Tuono actually. You know, they are up a little bit, they're back a little bit. I'm six foot two, 18 stones, so I'm a big bloke, and this isn't a big bike. To look at, this is quite a compact motorcycle, but riding it, it's perfectly comfortable for someone of my size. It feels lovely between your legs as well. The actual tank, the way the tank fits around the inside of your thighs, you've got a real good close contact with that. I'd imagine on track, you can, you've got that lip there to tuck your knee under. Yeah, that, that is, it feels lovely between your legs. Really nice. And it feels nimble. Really nimble. I'm not sure if there's been any chassis changes this year. I don't think so. I think the chassis is as is. But it was perfect anyway. That brake has got so much power. M50 calipers, full adjustable master cylinder. All I love about it, it's a Brembo master cylinder, but you can actually adjust. I'll show you when we do the walk around, but you can adjust the capacity of it. Not only can you adjust the span, you can change it from an 18 to a 19 to a 20, which changes actually how much pressure you have to apply to the lever to get the brakes performing. So if you did do, I guess if you went on track with it and you started to get a little bit of fade, you could increase the pressure of the actual master and change the volume. Ooh, it's a bit wet here. You can actually change the volume of the oil in the master cylinder to adjust how the brakes actually feel. God, it's got some mid-range. That mid-range feels much stronger than the old one. I think that that 9% trying for banding about for increased torque, you can really notice it there. Yeah, that, blip, that blipper really adds to the experience. What was already a sporty feeling bike, you'd chuck a blipper on it, it transforms it. <laughs> You can hang off it, got to be a bit careful that the, the road conditions aren't brilliant. There's a little bit of transfer back front to back of the weight as you go on and off the throttle, a little bit of weight transfer. But I mean this bike is as it comes out of the crate, it hasn't been set up for me. As I say I'm 18 stone so some suspension tweaking, which you can do, it's all fully adjustable could probably sharpen it up a bit more for me. I'm not sure I'm keen on that, that rev counter. It's quite hard to see that rev counter in that particular display mode. I'm not sure if you can make it bigger than that. I guess you can. I'll have a further play with that. Yeah, I'm impressed. So far, I am very impressed. All that hard work trying to put in paid off. I just love the feel of that front brake. It's got so much control you can just feather it in and because you can do just 
one finger braking, you can just leave that covered at all times. So when you're pushing on, you can leave that fully covered with one finger on it and still have full control over the bike. Wow. Bit of a wheelie there. It's, oh, it's keen to come up. It's really keen to wheelie. I'm quite surprised it was coming up like that then. Very eager. Oh, it's naughty. It is naughty. Can't rip it out because it hasn't had its first service yet. Oh, a bit of muck in the road here. You'll be a bit careful around here. So, that extra torque really, make, really picks that wheel up. And the wheelie control is fully turned on at the moment and it seems to let it come up a decent amount so you can have a bit of fun. But it's got your back. Go on, chops. You can have the wheel coming up. I've got your back. Full IMU, so you've got lean sensitive, this, that and the other, brakes, power. It's even got self-cancelling indicators. Not only are they self-cancelling on time, you can have them also self-cancelling on the lean of the bike. So if you're upright and you're accelerating, it's presuming you've done the turn, so they turn off. So if we indicate, let's wait for these cars to go as to not confuse any other road users. So if we indicate left, but the bike is upright and I accelerate, they turn off almost instantly, because it says, well, hang on, mate, you're not turning off, are you? You've left the indicator on. How clever is that? And if you don't like that, you can turn that off, so you can just have it on a timer, or have it off completely. That is another thing which is great about this. Everything is customizable. It gives you so much confidence. The suspension gives you confidence. The brakes give you incredible confidence. Just the feel of the bike. It gives you confidence to push on. It's, it's, it is really, it feels like a mini Tuono. A mini Tuono factory. The suspension isn't as good as that full Olin's system, all electronic. It's not as good as that, but it's close. It's surprisingly close. Let's try the quick shifter first to second, because that normally gets them. Smooth as a whistle. So light, so flickable. 166 kilos is all this bike weighs. I've had heavier bogies. Oh, if only the roads were clean and fully dry. Oh, it turns in lovely, just, just lays down. That, eh? Right, let's try out, try the self cancelling indicators. So it knows I'm slowing down. Take the turn. It'll be registering the fact that the bike's leaning over, and, and, I turn, and as I accelerate, you go turn off there. Yeah, there we go. Very clever. There's a slight dry line in the middle. Now it's muddy. I could tell if these roads were dry, you could just ride, ride it edge to edge of the tyre without any thought. The chassis is so good on this. So very, very good. The bike is so light, so grunty. A bit of kit. What a bit of kit. And all for ten and a half grand. 
I, I, I sort of ruled out ever getting one of these because they were they're, they're so small. They look so small. And being a bigger guy, I just thought, no, you're going to look ridiculous on it. But it's, it's not... It rides beautifully for a big guy. Don't think it's small. It's going to be cramped if you're big. It's absolutely not. I'd probably look a bit big on the bike, but actually to ride it, there's nothing cramped about it whatsoever. Very spacious. Just trail that front brake in. Give it the beans. It would wheelie like a champ if you turned it. <laughs> the wheelie control off biggest criticism so far it's making me do silly things <laughs> it's making me go faster than I ought to be it's a real egg you on motorcycle a real fun bike you, you could have too much fun on this <laughs> that's a bit of a criticism apart from that first impressions I can't think of anything else I don't like perhaps the switch gear and this little, little nipple control here is a little, perhaps not the the highest quality I've ever felt. But the rest of the bike, the quality of everything is exceptional. For a ten and a half grand bike, it's an exceptionally high quality motorcycle. Little detailings like the Triumph logo on the top clamp there. The raised Triumph writing on the tank. We'll go around it a bit in a minute when we do the walk round, but... Just the overall feel of the bike is of a very, very high quality. I, I'm struggling with any negatives at all, honestly. Back brake is even fantastic. The mirrors are even fantastic. The brakes are phenomenal. Obviously, it's a naked, so wind protection is non-existent. But you can get little fly screens for these. You know, you don't buy a naked and then moan you've got no wind protection, do you? So what's it like in town? Let's do another little bit of town testing. All very well, these bikes being super lovely when you got them on the open road. But do they become a little bit irritating, a little bit annoying when you get in town? Because I've sold bikes for that reason before. What is lovely when you're out thrashing becomes tiresome and aggravating when you're in town. The fueling is lovely actually. It's there's a, 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 when you come off the throttle, the tiniest of sort of snatches, but it, it's pretty darn good. I could certainly live with it, no problem. Go through here. Clutch is lovely, just sort of giving the clutch a bit of feathering out. Yeah, it's, 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 it's absolutely fine. See, a little bit, it's a bit like first there when I'm doing or 2,000-ish revs, it's, it, it's a little bit on and offy. But with the new legislation with Euro 5, you, you can't help that a little bit. It's perfectly acceptable, perfectly acceptable. Could have gone down there much faster. Guys, it's a beast around the corners. I could have gone down there twice as fast. Yeah, the suspension is sporty, but even over this little bumpy section, it's fine. It's not crashy at all. Not crashy in the slightest. Oh, I'm impressed. Those boffins at Hinkley, they know what they're doing. Looks like you've got outside air temperature as well. Nine and a half degrees at the moment. Clock. Distance till empty trip how long the bike's been running for there's just so much information for a middleweight bike you have got everything you could ever possibly want available on here <laughs> blippers awesome what a great addition now how do we turn off that wheelie control <laughs> I love it. I really like it. I really like the old one. This has just moved it on again. But I wouldn't say it's massively better. The old bike is still incredible. This is five, ten percent better again. 
I think it looks better. We'll have a good look at those new front headlights in a minute. I think they look a lot better. I like the colours, I like the belly pan it comes with now. The exhaust looks better. So there's a lot of cosmetic, a lot of cosmetic improvements. But just as the bike to ride, I'd say it feels five to ten percent better to actually ride it. That blipper gives you a lot more of a racy feel. That adds a lot to the riding enjoyment. And just the, the way the engine delivers that torque is improved as well. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing road manners to have a bike which feels as sporty and as exhilarating as this does. Right, we'll have to do the walk around in a minute before it actually gets dark at three o'clock in the afternoon. This is a new one, isn't it? This is a new one for the walk around. You've been here before, have you? You haven't been here before? Oh, street trip. Well, good afternoon. It's even polite. Right, there she is. I do apologise. Destination Triumph. Oh, I've dirtied your motorcycle. <laughs> but it's all in the name of YouTube. So there's the most obvious thing people recognise about it being a new model is these new headlights. Let's just turn it on. There they are with the, the running lights at the top. I think it's a massive improvement over the old lights. Looks much more aggressive. Love it. The whole front of the bike looks much more aggressive. And what a great looking bike it is. I like the belly pan. The belly pan is new on this one. So it's got this new belly pan. So starting at the bottom, you've got the same M50 calipers, full braided lines. The master cylinder, as I mentioned, this is where you adjust the actual pressure of the lever. So that adjusts how much fluid is within the actual master cylinder itself. So it depends on how much pressure you put on the lever. And then you've got your span adjustment at the end here as normal to move the lever in and out. But that is incredible. I mean, that, that, normally only the top of the range RCS Brembo master cylinders have that. So that is really impressive. Clutch is a cable clutch. There's not a hydraulic clutch on this, it's cable. The exhaust is slightly different now. It's so obviously Euro 5 this bike is now, so all of the exhaust system has been reworked to meet that legislation. But they've put a nice little carbon tip on it though. So actually, for Euro 5 exhaust, you will not find a better one than that. That looks nice. The back of the bike has these little fins and these little, I love the styling of the back end. It's a bit wider at the back and I think that makes the whole bike look a little bit bigger Around this side you have your Olin shock, looking rather dirty. I'm going to have to clean this now. This one's got a couple of extras, it's got the little guards on the swinging arm. These are the optional flash indicators which have like the strobing effect. So these are a Triumph option. Tasty, very very tasty. It's also got the optional smaller tail tidy. So it doesn't come down as past the, the, the rear tyre which is what they have to do. So that is actually the illegal tail tidy. Before we go, let me just show you the clocks briefly. These are, display has been changed for this year, the layout, etc. Good afternoon. So, so there we go. So we've got fuel. Yeah, we know about that. Track mode, rider mode, rain. You know, you've got all the modes on there. Oh, I can't go in track now, can I? I'll put it in track mode. We'll try in track mode when we go. That's track mode now. I mean, look at the engine finishing. The lovely little shiny bolts you know everything is just everything just feels quality i love that in a bike where everything is just has a quality finish it's even got a genuine brembo rear caliper as well a beautiful bike beautifully made absolutely lovely right let's jump back on there's not many bikes i ride where i there's they're few and far between the bikes I ride, where I could, I think to myself, I could actually see myself owning one of these. There's not many like that. You'd think riding all these new bikes, I'm lucky enough to get on these new machines, and you'd think you'd be falling in love much more often than what actually happens. And this style of bike is very me. I mean, I love the Tuono. This is like Tuono light. I don't even want to say light because. It feels every bit as much fun as the Tuono. It has, it's not as obviously, it's not got the same sort of grunt that the Tuono has, but this has got more than enough grunt. A much more usable package 
probably more fun than a Tuono because you can actually rinse this properly on the road. The Tuono, again, you're going crazy speeds. This is uh, probably a better road bike than the Tuono. Now that is a statement and that is indeed high accolade coming from me. So massive thank you to Destination Triumph in Washington for lending this to me. I mean, this bike is, they've just got this in, they're bringing it out to me. We're going to, I'm going to be working a lot more with uh, Destination Triumph Washington. We're going to be working quite closely to review all of the Triumph. Triumph's been something I've really struggled to get on the channel. Obviously the press bikes are kept up in Hinkley, which is a, four, a three and a half, four hour drive away for me. So it's an eight hour round trip to go and pick a bike up from Hinkley, so it's not really viable. And Triumph, Destination Triumph Washington are kindly offered to work with me. So we're gonna be borrowing all sorts of Triumphs now. For those people who have been saying Triumph boycott on Land Chops rides, that is about to change. We're now gonna be riding all of the Triumphs and even the new Rocket as soon as that's available. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. See you later guys. This is power level one, which is full power.